Okay, so here's the uh, finished piece. It's a spring compressor for a Crossman Phantom 22 caliber. Um, obviously, it just depends on the size of your gun. Probably lots of other guns will fit in there too. Um, yeah, so, pretty basic operation. You can see the locking pin right there. If you knock out that little pin, it releases the pressure from the spring inside the compression chamber. I'm just going to drive back on this and instead of shooting out and putting a hole in the wall or your arm, you can just slowly relieve the tension like that. You see here I have a U-bolt help prevent uh, any deflection and right over here, this was supposed to be a U-bolt too, but uh, it wasn't actually high enough, so I just bent the bottom piece of the U-bolt and used some regular bolts. Um, over here, it's just two 2x4s two put together, barrel stop, 2x4s again, one to sit on, and two, and two to keep them in alignment. And then back here, drill two holes. I have half inch by four and a half inch bolts going through here with some washers under here to get the correct alignment so that this will line up with the end of my barrel. And then underneath of this piece, this piece here is uh, the two by six is bolted down six times just so the C clamp can move up to be parallel with everything here. And you want to make sure you bolt that in good because there will be a lot of pressure on that. And then underneath here this is just basically a spacing block for my bolts. Uh, you can see there's a crack in there but that doesn't actually really matter at all. Um, it's not going to matter whatsoever. Um, that block is just there to take up some space because there's not threads all the way down the bolts. And yeah, so there you go. Um, just want to let you know, uh, don't attempt to make one of these you don't have the proper woodworking skills and do not attempt to modify your gun unless you have the proper mechanical aptitude. I'm not responsible in any way for anything you may do to or with your gun use, using this setup. So if you try to do this and you screw it up and send your send your spring through your parents wall don't get pissed off at me that being said um, it's really not that hard to do if you know what you're doing um, just some basic woodwork and as far as the actual disassembly of the gun goes I should have a video coming up soon on that also but that is easily found online. So, there you go. Spring compressor for an air rifle. Thanks for watching.